starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess with Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here for the first time. I'm so glad you're here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and take some time out to support my channel and my work by clicking on the subscribe button and give it a like if this resonates with you. For those of you, my Capella members, you are the most amazing people on the planet. Thank you so much for your love, your loyalty, and support. I'm so glad you were part of my circle, my Capella circle. Um, <clears throat> if you're interested in a personal reading or if you want to set up for an awesome Capella membership, which you can learn more about in the end of the video, check out the description box below or you can go to CapellaWellness.com and check out the amazing things I have to offer along with my very, very impactful Capella memberships. Um, <clears throat> Lastly, if you would like to support the work that I do and my channel, you can do so by submitting a donation or choosing an item from my wish list. More information about where those things are, how you can donate, how you can access my wish list on Amazon, those are in the description box below. Okay, just scroll down further and you'll see the links to where you can make a donation and where you can um, view my wish list. All right, if you do. Um, Choose any one of those options to support me and my channel and the work that I do. May that be returned to you tenfold. I wish you guys a wonderful week. With that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope you are well. My, my chair is getting more squeaky by the day. Anyway, um, um, I send you much love and many blessings as I always do. All right, Gemini, what we're going to do here, we're going to see what your current theme is for the week, what you need to focus on, what you need to avoid for your spiritual growth, because that is what this is about. We're then going to get guidance on how to best navigate these energies, what the full moon total eclipse in Taurus is bringing you. <clears throat> um, what your wellness message is for the week, as well as what's coming to you in love, all right? That will be at the end. All right, Gemini, let's see what your theme... Wow! Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy shit, look, it's you. It's the Gemini card. <clears throat> Cross-pollinate. You're all about communication, the number three. You are the third sign in the zodiac. You rule the third house. Look what's at the bottom of the deck, the third house. This is all you, Jemmy Gems, communication. <clears throat> you guys have been getting this message for a while. This is pretty amazing, guys. This is all you here. Holy shit, look what I just did. I pulled the card, Pisces. There's always a Gemini Pisces dynamic in my readings. Okay, so. Well, you know, relationship, uh, it, it could be, it doesn't have to be romantic, guys. It could be with any other Pisces, but there's a strong energy when I do these readings. There is a Gemini Pisces type of connection, all right? Anyway, <clears throat> <laughs> that wasn't a coincidence. So, this is really stemming from communication. The bees here, they're coming in. All right, they're gonna pollinate those flowers and help those flowers grow. There's somebody who's going to communicate with you <coughs> or you need to, <coughs> excuse me guys, communicate with them. This is also about effective communication. This is about being in your truth. Gemini is all about speaking the truth. It's honesty, it's integrity. It is you being able to say what you need to say but coming from a place of love. That is the other part of this, right? You can speak your truth but you gotta watch your words because you could do some damage to somebody else, right? I mean, sometimes <clears throat> um, we overthink things, right? It's just a shadow side of Gemini, right? If you guys don't already know, I'm Gemini Sun. So when that happens, sometimes we don't think before we speak. We don't think before we act, right? I th believe we got that message last week. So... <clears throat> This is really encouraging you to make sure that you communicate in, um, what do I want to say? There's this word that's coming through to me, but I can't get it. I can't get it, guys. 
something about communicating where you're coming from a place of love, right? Be open and honest. But again, watch your words. Your word is your want, right? Um, this is also about watching what you put out into the universe, like what you're saying about people, about yourself, about your mission work, about your business, about other people, right? Because that is energy as well. So if you're putting out negativity out there, Gemini, be very careful because you're manifesting more negativity into your life, all right? <clears throat> For the others of you, if you're the recipient of this type of negative communication, make sure you put a shield around you, a white shield of light around you to protect you from those negative energies. All right. So Gemini is also about the twins. Okay. This could very well be pertaining to twin flames, which I don't like using. I don't like using that term, but uh, I say that because people know about the twin flame stuff. But my guide want me to call it light counterpart. This is your divine counterpart. There's something here about you two coming together. For some of you, not for all of you, with regards to um, it's divine union, okay? I'm seeing the lover's card. The lover's is Gemini. I'm also seeing the magician card, right? <clears throat> that's Gemini as well. So there's something here where communication is coming in that's going to kickstart this divine union. This is for those of you who are already in alignment, those of you who are doing your mission work, those of you who are not in pain by being in separation, all these other things that are required for harmonious sacred union to occur, all right? So there is going to be some, I'm hearing loads of communication. It's like fluttering in. It's gonna be like overflow. We've got that with the weekly message, overflow of abundance, but also an overflow of words. Um, and it looks like when this commu communication comes in, it is going to uh, really get things going with <coughs> some of you here and these connections with um, coming into union with this person, all right? <clears throat> um, so there's something also here about having a very sincere, honest dialogue with somebody, okay? Or having a group of people, all right? You could be setting up something like a live stream or uh, a forum or something like that where you're being asked to communicate some sort of truth here, but also get something going between whoever it is that you're communicating with. It's like a community, right? I'm hearing community. Um, I'm seeing social media, okay? Because that is this energy. Something about social media here where uh, some of you are on these platforms and you're being asked to communicate something you guys probably know what this is you may have been getting intuitive hits about this but setting up something for the masses i'm hearing so that you can get some sort of point across but again this is talking also about be careful with what you are saying out there what you're putting out there what other people are reading what you're you're displaying what you're conveying whether it's by word by text by even an image perhaps or um some sort of video, what you're saying in a video or in a <clears throat> audio file, something along those lines. <clears throat> you guys are here to get other people to see the truth, to understand the truth, and to speak their own truth, okay? You guys, are, some of you are examples uh, of that so that you can help others encourage. So something about throat chakra issues. Some of you are encouraging others to not be afraid of who they are and not being afraid of speaking the truth. And don't get me wrong, guys, for me, doing this channel, if I haven't told the story already, and I have, but some of you may have not heard this, where it was very difficult for me to not only be my true self, but to speak what I felt was the right thing to say, to speak my truth, especially speaking what I channel from my guides, from my spirit team, because I know it triggers a lot of people. I know it turns people off. I know people jump ship and it's like, I don't wanna hear that. And some people can't handle the truth because they're just not ready for it, right? So for me, um, with the people I work closely with, I've been encouraging them to not be afraid of that either. And I'm pretty sure that I set an example for those to not be afraid to say certain things. And I remember talking about those other readers that I was channeling, right? How they they hold it in, right? And I and I picked it up on somebody else just the other day. I'm very, very psychic. And I could tell when someone's holding something for me 
and when they're not. And I can tell when somebody's holding back their truth. And I talked about those readers that are out there, right? And it's not a knock on them. It's just that they're still a little bit afraid of channel, of saying what they're channeling, of saying what the truth is. And the truth is not going to be easy to swallow for a lot of people. But when you can handle that, you can handle anything, right? Nobody should be afraid of the truth. It's kind of ridiculous with everything that's going on out there. People are circumventing that truth. But when we're not in that truth, we are not in alignment with God because God is only about truth and that's it. Trust me, I, mean, I have connected with God and meditated and prayed to him and he has communicated with me certain things that I didn't really want to hear, but I needed to. God was preparing me to handle that, not only from him, but from other people. To also deal with what I needed to fix, what I needed to to heal right because if we're not facing that truth we are not being able to face ourselves and that's it could be a very dangerous thing to to experience because <clears throat> then you start moving away from the light because truth is light truth is love it's unconditional love it's all the things that are the divine and we we are not in that i'm seeing the sun card with this the light of truth right um we're, we're not in alignment with this we're not really being true to ourselves and then we're not being true to all of those other people that we're supposed to assist, that we're supposed to help, that we're supposed to inspire. Because then you also end up instilling fear in them when you're afraid to be completely, completely honest. This could also be lines of communication that are being blocked. It's like two of swords, ace of swords in the reverse, right? We got that the last time. Be careful where you're getting your communication from, your information from. Go to God about it. Meditate on it and see what you get so, so that you can determine what the real truth is. All right. Um, this could also be uh, with whatever guidance and uh, communication you get for your guides or angels, you're being asked to communicate that, with, again, with the masses, share the information, gather people around and share it. And for those of you who have a complex with speaking your truth, with just communicating in general, talking about how you feel, when you get the word out there and you have a group of people who are sitting there listening to you, it helps you to overcome that fear of speaking. There's like a public speaking fear for some of you. And I used to have that for more than 50% of my life. And God told me to do this channel. I said, Jess, you're going to have to do this. <clears throat> I said, what? There's no way. They said, don't put your face in the video first. But then later on, they told me to do live streams. They told me to do the weeklies with my face showing in there. You see how this works? It's, it's preparation. It's leveling you up so that when you're speaking in larger crowds, when people are challenging you and trying to be like saying, oh, well, you're full of shit, blah, 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 blah. You're not afraid of that. You're not afraid of opposition. You're not afraid of people trying to change your mind, right? Because Gemini, we're mutable energy. We can be easily swayed because of the overthinking, because of the second guessing. We're that smart, but sometimes that intelligence that comes with a, a price because when other people are challenging us, and this happened to me most of my life, I started to overthink what I was originally feeling, what I was thinking, what I knew my truth was. And when the challenges came in, when the opposition came in, what did I do? I backed into a corner. This is not what God wants you guys to do. Wants. This is not what God wants you guys to do. Did I say that right? Yeah. And be careful with gossip. All right? Any type of gossip that you are surrounding yourself in, Gemini, you need to get out of that. That is negative energy. You have to be careful with other people are saying, especially if it's making you feel heavy, it's making you feel low. That, those are lies. It's people are being dishonest if you're feeling that. Okay, again, go to God, go to your guides and angels to understand what the truth is. <clears throat> and don't start coming across as queen of swords, if you hear something through the grapevine or you hear something from somebody that is gossip that's about you, don't don't get back, don't stoop down to their level. 
and start saying things are behind their backs or you start to gossip about them or the situation, you're lowering your vibration. You're stooping down to, to a darker energy here. This is not what God wants you to do. So if some of you are dealing with gossip and people saying things behind your back or whatever, just pull away, Gemini. Just walk away from that. You do not need to deal with that nonsense. Let them talk, right? And if people are going to believe them, well, guess what? They're falling into those same traps too. They're falling into that mess. You should not worry about that if you're dealing with this, Gemini. God knows the truth. God knows what you're doing. And God is going to handle the situation appropriately. Okay. <clears throat> um. If something's bothering you, Gemini, don't hold yourself back from communicating what it is that you want to say. Find a friend, find a trusted terror reader, find a counselor, find a coach to help you. Like, you got to get some things off your chest. Maybe it has to do with this gossip, right? Don't go back to those people. Go talk, talk it out with someone. And again, speak to those um, people as though they're your equal. Don't be condescending. Don't be belittling. Speak in a way how you would like to be spoken to, right? <clears throat> Cross pollinate. Get the word out. Communicate how you're feeling and don't be afraid of that. All right. And this is also an energy for some of you to help others communicate unexpressed feelings, but to not be afraid of doing that, right? It's what I encourage others to do. It's what I'm encouraging you guys to do now. Especially if anybody here who is a psychic or a terror reader, or you have some sort of platform on social media. You could be on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, Rumble, something like that. Don't be afraid to speak up. But here's the other thing. Don't go around bashing people and, 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 and um, having your anger fuel these very unpleasant words, these very harmful words. It's kind of like Queen of Swords in the reverse, the King of Swords in the reverse, and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Don't get to that energy. Don't speak out of turn. Again, think before you speak. Think before you act. Because people are watching you, Gemini. They're watching you. If you're going to be like most society where sometimes they just want to go, yeah, they may be speaking the truth, but they're not coming from a place of love, you're falling into the collective that is not awakened yet. That's not where you're supposed to be. And if you get triggered by something, be honest, but be kind about it. Any harsh words that you put out there, they're not going to help anybody. And then of course it'll trigger other people and it could probably start like a shit storm or start a fire. It's the last thing you want to do. But again, you can speak your truth without being condescending and belittling. Somebody needs to hear that. Socialization, social groups. Gemini is also the house of siblings, right? There may be something here with your own siblings with regards to communication. That's going to be different for all of you because it's not going to resonate with all of you. <clears throat> Three of Cups, community, support groups. We're here to support each other. And for us, with any 
placement of Gemini that you have, you are here to be an example for others to get them to understand what the truth really is and how to better communicate with others from a place of love no matter what comes at us, no matter what the opposition is, okay? And again, I'm going back to hearing like the tarot reader stuff that I channeled a couple of times before. If you are one of those, or you you don't have to be terrible. You're just somebody who's like public communications, or you're a writer, or or teacher, or something like that. <clears throat> Make your voice heard, but again, don't hold back from what God is telling you to say. Don't worry if you trigger people, but this is not triggering people by being angry and being low vibrational when you speak. Because not everybody is going to be able to handle the truth, and that is okay. And for some of you, you may need to very well deal with handling whatever truth gets told to you. Because at the end of the day, we're all here to better ourselves. We're all here to um, <clears throat> be better versions of ourselves. Check your thinking process. You probably need to check what's in your third house. Or what placement of Gemini you have. Okay? This is also Gemini is about having fun too, right? Maybe even not be afraid to be funny for some of you. Because Geminis can have a great sense of humor. You know, when I talked about it in my weekly with the whole beaver moon and I was like, I could say all these jokes, but my guides actually told me not to say anything about that. But I did talk about me having a warped and dirty mind sometimes, right? Because, you know, the Gemini's like that. We could be a little bit immature, but as long as we're not being fully immature all the time, that's not a problem. Because Gemini's like to have fun. They like to socialize. They like to make jokes. And sometimes when they deal with the truth, they poke a little bit of fun at it. But when they're poking a little fun at it, that doesn't mean that you're trying to insult somebody in the process, okay? <clears throat> but yeah, this is like repairing communication. Blocked lines of communication. You could be having blocked communication with the Pisces, all right? <clears throat> Check your thinking process if I didn't say that already. This is also about if you've received communication, make sure that you understand what you read, what was in the text message, what was in the email, what was in the letter, what was on a post, okay? Again, don't be so impulsive like the Knight of Swords and just attack somebody if something comes in that triggers you. Be very careful with that. Make sure you are clear in what it is that you are reading, that you are receiving, all right? If you're unclear about it, ask them. Hey, so-and-so, Mike, I didn't understand what you said in this, in this letter, in this documentation, in this email, in this text. Don't assume, <laughs> Gemini, don't assume things because if you're like, oh, wait, what does that mean? Oh, are they saying this? That doesn't sound right. But it's like, wait a minute. If you're unclear, Gemini, remember with the second guessing here, go ask for clarification. Or ask them, I don't mean, I don't understand what you wrote. I don't understand what you said. Can you please clear this up for me? I'm getting a very strong energy of somebody was received a letter from someone or an email from someone <clears throat> and there was a lot of information in it and something seemed off to you or you didn't quite understand how something was possible or or what they were saying. If that's you, Gemini, go ask the person. I, you know what? I, I don't understand. I didn't understand this. I didn't know how to respond. I didn't understand what you were saying in my email and your email, the letter. Can you please clarify? Don't, don't jump the gun and assume things. If you don't understand it, ask questions. When in doubt, 
ask them out. Oh my God, I don't know where that came from. When in doubt, ask for clarity. Ask for more details. There is nothing wrong with that. Because if you get confused and you assume things, that ends up messing up the lines of communication. And if you're dealing with a job or something like that, that ends up screwing up other things, right? Communicate clearly. Repair any types of misinformation or miscommunication. And again, watch the information that you're getting. <clears throat> Again, with this something with siblings here, if you're having siblings and you haven't talked to them in a while, go check on them. Say hi. I'm going to be completely honest, guys. That's a message for me. And what's crazy is I was thinking about my sisters this morning and how I haven't talked to them in a while. So I need to go check in with them. That could be a message for some of you. Okay? Stop overthinking things. Stop second guessing. Stop being afraid to say something. But again, with whatever communication you're receiving and you're getting confused, ask. Just ask. The person will be happy to help you better understand whatever it is that you're confused about. Okay? This is all you, Gemini. <laughs> I can't get over this. Pluto's at the top. Rebirth. There's something here about clearing up lines of communication, unblocking the lines of communication, but being completely open and honest, but not vindictive, not impulsive, not hurtful. Especially if you receive something and you get triggered and you, had, you hit send before you even read what you wrote. Be very careful with that. Think it through. Ask for clarity. Because when you do, this connection or whatever this is with regards to communication, there's going to be a rebirth here. The power of words is going to be very important here. Because some of you are very powerful speakers. You're very powerful communicators. And sometimes people can't understand what the hell you're saying. That's okay. Because I'm in that too. Watch the power of your words. Some of you have Pluto in the third house. I'm hearing Libra, your sister sign. If you have Pluto in the third house in Libra, this is a huge message for you. You're a powerful communicator. You know how words affect others. You're very intelligent, Gemini. Use your words wisely. You have the power to destroy people with your words, to insult people with your words, to lower people's vibration, or you have the power to elevate them to cause them to be reborn, to cause them to become more powerful themselves. It's one way or the other. You have a choice. Again, use your words wisely. You have tremendous power here with your words, Gemini. And don't be afraid of the power of truth either. But there's something that's being reborn here. There's something that's being completely transformed and awakened when the lines of communication are unblocked. Somebody here needs to ask for clarity about something that was written. Somebody here needs to just take a breather and not get triggered by what they received because they couldn't understand it. Relax. Go ask that person, hey, I, I'm not sure what you meant by this. Can you please explain to me? There's nothing wrong with that, Gemini. It doesn't make you stupid. It doesn't make you less of a person than they are. It doesn't make you less intelligent. It makes you even smarter because you have the ability to go ask that person to clarify something, to better clear, uh, to, to, to unblock the lines of communication. All right? <clears throat> 
I swear, you see when I talk about my Gemini stuff, I could talk about this one card in the bottom of the deck for 28 minutes. You see what I'm saying? <coughs> some of you, I know, you. some of you have been told that you talk too much. I've had people say that in my videos before. I don't give two shits. Why? Because I've got a lot of information to give, to, con to channel. I have a lot of things to convey. There's a lot of truth that flows through me that I need to get out to the collective. So if anybody tells you, you're chatty, you talk too much, don't get so bothered by it. <coughs> it may also mean that maybe sometimes you may talk too much because maybe it's a little bit of a nervous tick for you. <coughs> Somebody once told me, it was my counterpart actually, Something about those who talk a lot have the least to say, who, who talk too much have the least to say. That's not necessarily true. It depends on what they are saying. Because if I spent 30 minutes talking about this card, there was a lot that you guys needed to be told. My guides know that I can talk and they utilize because I'm not afraid to give out all of that information, right? So if you guys are being told that you put too much out there or you, you say too much or something like that, just be mindful of what you are actually saying. If it's a lot of fluff, if you're circumventing the truth and beating around the bush, then maybe you shouldn't be talking as much. As long as you are speaking the truth and you are speaking what God has asked you to talk about, what your guys have asked to talk about, don't get triggered by people who say you talk too much or you say too many things. What is it that Gemini needs to focus on? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, here's the King of Swords, you see? The moon and the chariot. Wow, we have two major arcana and a court card at the bottom of the deck. <coughs> this is about taking action on... It's like coming out of the dark. Getting in your car and moving away from that darkness. This is about revealing your innermost secrets, your fears, your uncertainties. Dreams even. Maybe share, Maybe some of you are getting a lot of dreams and you're being asked to share those dreams with other people. <coughs> okay? <coughs> because while those dreams might be for you, they could very well be helpful to whoever you are uh, communicating with, especially on a social media platform, right? Don't be afraid of the truth, right? Trust and listen to your intuition. I talked about God speaking to you. Whatever you're intuitively getting, follow that guidance. Take action on it. You'd be getting a lot of dreams about saying something, about doing something, about acting upon something. You're braver than you think you are, Gemini, to do this. Move forward with communication. All right? Maybe some of you are getting in dreams what you need to say to other people, right? What you need to say to somebody, what you need to say to a Pisces, or if you're a Pisces cross-watching, this is what you need to say to a Gemini. This is the Pisces Cancer card. You wanna see something crazy? I saw this, look, third house, Pisces, Cancer. There's something about Gemini and Cancer or something like that. <coughs> I mean, Mercury and Cancer, I'm sorry, because Mercury was Gemini. <clears throat> Release those fears about whatever it is that God is asking you to do. He's telling you to take action on something. And some of you have been getting a lot of dreams about this. It could very well be about communicating something, guys. Don't be afraid of this. This is God speaking to you. It's major arcana. Powerful forces are at play here. God is really trying to get you to shift gears here and do something about whatever this is. <coughs> I 
Gemini also involves short travel. So you could be traveling a distance to somebody, but it's not that far of a distance. I'm getting something where it's on one side of the uh, United States instead of cross country. That's what I was just told. <clears throat> this could very well be Gemini. Some of you are traveling. Uh, it's like you're traveling public speakers. Okay. You, you are being invited to go speak at some sort of forum or uh, at some sort of stadium or something or, or I don't know, hotel conference room. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> See what's happening? Like I try to speak the truth here and something keeps trying to block me. But some of you, I'm hearing traveling salesman, but that's not what it is. Maybe you're speaking something about uh, towards that. But what I'm getting is some of you are these public speakers that you travel around a lot. Okay, or you want to do that. Maybe Spirit is telling you, hey, Gemini, go ahead and you're getting these ideas to go talk at different places. Um, say, hey, I'm going to be here. And if you want to meet up with me, if you want to hear what I have to say, come to this session, come to this meeting, come to this event, something like that. Somebody here is doing this or you're getting ideas or dreams about this. Something about communicating to the masses. But for those of you who are resonating with the travel part of this, you're being asked to uh, go around different cities, different states, or whatever this is, countries even, to speak your truth. This could also be a premonition for somebody, some of you, where you are going to be doing more of this. And you may not have caught wind of this yet. This, not ha this, has, this hasn't happened yet. All right? <clears throat> Cross-pollinating. You're going from one flower to the other to help people grow to speak their truth, whatever it is your mission is, <coughs> to empower people, Pluto, all right? So if you have been thinking about this, where you're traveling and be speaking your truth, then go through with it. Do something about it because you're always being divinely guided. This chariot card talks about trusting and where God is leading you. You are on the right path. Okay? This is the I think I can card for me. I can go the distance. I always tend to refer this as Thomas the Train, but I know Thomas the Train is not the little engine that could. <laughs> there's probably a Thomas here. Because every time I channel that, there's like a Thomas around here. Anyway... <clears throat> This is going through with your divine guidance and not being afraid of where God is leading you. Because if your intuition is telling you to do something, if your dreams are telling you to take action, take action, Gemini. Don't be afraid of what lies ahead. <coughs> God is speaking to you through your intuition. In your dreams, trust in what your intuition is leading you to. It's guiding you to. It's God guiding you to where you need to be. Have that courage to do this. Faith over fear. Courage over fear. When you are speaking your truth, Gemini, God is always behind you. Trust me when I say this because doing my work here... <clears throat> It was a little bit challenging for what I would get from God, from my guides. And if you've watched me before, you've heard me say this. This is going to be triggering for some of you. Some of you are not going to like this because this is the cold hard truth. Blah, blah, blah. I warn you. But I do not hesitate because I'm not fearful of that anymore. Because I know God's backing me up. I know that I'm on the right path. It's the path of truth here. This is what the King of Swords always travels on. He is always on the path of truth because he knows the truth is the most important thing to him. He knows he needs to communicate clearly with honesty and integrity. This is speaking your mind with confidence. All right. He's not afraid of the truth, nor is he afraid of speaking it. He is that solid. He is that confident in himself. That what he is getting from the divine is what needs to be expressed, what needs to be told. 
He's not afraid about being heartbroken. He's not afraid about his emotions being affected. I had to take years to be king of swords. <clears throat> years. Because when everybody would say something to me, like when that to a couple of people said that I talked too much. Okay, and what did I say back to them? Well, thank you. It's because I'm very intelligent and I'm able to channel multiple portals at once. That's how I responded. I didn't say, fuck you, you're a piece of shit, blah, 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 you can't tell me whatever, I don't talk too much and whatever, whatever, whatever. I did not put that out there. Because I'm a divine feminine. I'm not going to be, and I have the divine masculine within me. I'm not going to go out there and, and berate somebody. Because that will come back to me. Right? So for some of you, that's an example. You can be blunt, Gemini, but not be hurtful. Don't be cold-hearted and detached and have like a very, very... Ooh, this is this king of swords in the reverse is not nice. <clears throat> they stab people with their words. That's not what God wants you to be, Gemini. You can be blunt. You can say it like it is, but you're still going to come from a place of love because you have head-heart balance. <clears throat> okay? You have head-heart balance. This is an excellent communicator. Very strategic. Remember I talked about think before you speak. It's like when I got that message, I was like, I got triggered a little bit and I felt a little bit of emotion, like emotionally attacked, right? I felt like I was being attacked. But then I said, wait a minute, <clears throat> let me think about this here. How am I going to respond? And I connected to my guides. I meditate out. I talk to God. God, help me speak my truth to this person in response to what this person said. Now, I could have had the option of not saying anything, but I said to that person, thank you. I know. I have the ability to channel multiple portals and to get a whole bunch of messages to help the collective, whatever it was I said. <clears throat> and I said it's not talking, it's channeling. So for some of you who get hung up on me talking a lot in these messages, especially for your readings, because you are a Gemini, it's channeling. I have a fantastic team up there and they have a lot to say and they know that I'm not afraid to say all that stuff. They utilize me to get out a lot of stuff because so many of you need to hear the truth and nothing but. So many of you need to get a lot of information because some of you are getting misinformation from other places. And you know that you're having an issue with what you're getting and you're overthinking whether it's the truth or not when deep down inside your intuition knows that that is truly misinformation and to not deal with the gossip and all that other bullshit. <clears throat> Stand in your integrity, Gemini, and don't be afraid to speak your truth. With that wheat he's got there with the sword, the more you do this, the more you will grow, the more you won't be afraid of speaking what is in your heart and what God is telling you to convey, okay? And again, I'm getting an energy. <coughs> Somebody may have received communication and turn it to Queen of, to, oh, I'm sorry, King of Swords in the reverse. Very hurtful with their words. Insulting people. Being emotionally detached. Oh, no, somebody got triggered. Somebody said, read something that made them feel very emotional. The moon card. Okay. This is emotions, deep emotions. And they responded in a manner that was not really uh, nice. They were too blunt. They were a little bit hurtful. And now somebody here is regretting that. 
because they didn't think before they responded. The king of swords in the reverse could be the person who doesn't think before they act, before they talk. And then the words that come out cut like a knife. Somebody might have done that. You might have done that, Gemini, or you were the recipient of that not-so-nice message. <clears throat> Somebody may have continuously con uh, you know, acted in that shadow king of swords whenever they you communicated with them. But it looks like that's because this king of swords needed to think before he said something. Needed to read the fine print. Needed to understand what was being conveyed to him and ask questions if he wasn't clear. He's not afraid to ask questions to get clarity, to get a better understanding of things. There's something here about somebody being more strategic and how they speak and how they come across to others. Again, it's communication, social media type of stuff. <coughs> Maybe there's even something legal here for somebody. Okay? This person seeks justice at all times. He loves to bring harmony and balance to things. He wants to be fair and just. This is righteousness. God wants us to be fair, just, and righteous with people. We're not going to assume. We're not going to talk out of turn. And if people who come across to us as being very cold, we're going to be able to better handle it. And we're not going to have knee-jerk reactions when we get that type of communication. We're going to strategically think about what we're going to say. We're going to go to God to think about what we're going to say. And it's going to be better communication with that person. <clears throat> Look, it's more communicate. Guys, there's communication all over this freaking reading. Maybe somebody wants to commit to somebody. Following their divine guidance. This is communication out of the blue. Somebody maybe needs to say, hey, I got caught off guard with this. I wasn't expecting this communication. Could, could you please explain to me? Because I, I, I couldn't understand it. Can you please explain? Because I'm a little lost here. I need more clarity on this, please. <coughs> okay. See, when I talk about knee-jerk reactions and rapid communication, stuff came to you out of nowhere. You got, or again, like the gospel or something, you got wind of something. And somebody here said the wrong thing because they didn't think it through first. <clears throat> they read it and they responded as soon as they got the message without thinking about what they read first. Somebody assumed something incorrectly. And now this king, if this, the king was the one who assumed it incorrectly, this king now needs to go, okay, let me go clear this up. Let me go clear this up. I need to be honest now with what it is that I don't understand, with what it is I read, something like that. <coughs> but somebody needs to get over their fears of communicating. It's either you or your person. God is always behind you when you speak your truth. This is why I'm not afraid to do what I do. I'm not afraid of triggering people. I'm not afraid of losing subscribers and, and followers and whatever the hell. It doesn't matter. Because I'm not pleasing you guys. I'm pleasing God. If God, my guys, my angels tell me to communicate what I need to communicate, I'm all for it. Because it's all about truth and nothing but. So some of you got to get over that fear of doing that. Just charge ahead. I think I can. You can communicate the truth without fear. Because again, you're being divinely guided. You're being led to a place of peace, a place of, place of truth, harmony, justice. That's what you're here for. <clears throat> this is going to be a long ass reading. I can feel it. Son of a bitch. It's the justice card. I said something about Pluto, Libra, and the third house. This is Libra. What did I say about justice? I'm keeping that out there. 
doing what you know is right. Because so many people in this world are doing the wrong thing. The unjust, the unrighteous thing, guys. I don't want any of you to fall into that. There's too much of that bullshit going on. You're going to be an advocate of justice, of peace, of harmony, of integrity. That is integrity. Be your authentic self. Do not hold back any truth that you know you need to convey to other people, especially if you're on a social media platform. Because again, it's not your fault if people can't handle the truth, Gemini. It's not. You need to be true to you. You need to be in alignment with God's truth here. There's too much of this crap with people being afraid to speak that truth. But again, it's speaking it from a place of love and not coming down on people. It causes more anger in the world. It causes more bitterness in the world. We don't need that. We need to change that. We need to bring balance here. Okay. There's also something about somebody understanding the consequences of their actions. Because maybe they didn't ask for clarification. Maybe they spoke out of turn. Maybe they didn't speak their truth fully. This is doing the right thing. Somebody needs to do the right thing and communicate to somebody. To be honest. To be truthful. To be themselves. I don't understand why so many people are so fearful of being their true authentic selves. You want to fit in with everybody else? Why? God made you who you are, Gemini, because you were born to stand out. It's like that Dr. Seuss quote. Why try to fit in when you were born to stand out? <clears throat> Don't worry about what everybody else thinks about you, what they say, even what they post about you. If they do that, who gives a shit? You're Gemini. You're the, the, the most mentally strong um, Zodiac. Okay. You're one of the most intelligent people. Use that to your advantage. And if you guys have that power with communication, use that to your advantage. Empower people. Don't disempower them with your words. You're going the opposite direction when you disempower people with your words. You need to be this, not this. Okay. All right, what is it that Gemini needs to avoid? What does Gemini need to avoid other than everything else I just said? Holy Spirit, thank you. Jeez Louise, it's another major arcana. Look, it's the death card in the three of wands. Here comes Scorpio. Pluto rules Scorpio. <coughs> Might have Pluto and Scorpio too. Somebody might stop holding yourself back from making forward progress, from manifesting your dreams, from going out there into the world and speaking your truth. This is expansion and ex it's exploration. I don't know. I'm waiting here. I don't know. Should I do that? Should, should I go talk about that topic? Should I be my true self? Should I, should I to go explain what I've been dreaming about, what I've been getting intuitively? Whatever. It's like you're standing there debating on whether you're going to go um, level up. If you're going to continue on this journey because maybe it's been a little bit tough for some of you to be speaking your truth out there. You've come a long way, Gemini. For those of you who haven't gotten here yet, this is now the time to just get over that freaking fear issue and be yourself. Stop trying to be like everybody else. <clears throat> Some of you are debating, should I continue doing this? Should I continue communicating my truth? And you know what, guys? 
I'll be completely honest with you. The past couple of days, I've been in my Gemini mind about should I even continue to do this? And I know that sounds crazy because I love what I do, but I'm very ambitious too. I've got Leo rising and Leo North node, right? I want to be out there in the spotlight and it's funny because that's the opposite because my south node is Aquarius I'm Aquarius moon boy would I want to hide behind the curtain boy that I want to detach from society I was always hiding behind my mother's legs when I was a kid <laughs> okay I want to do my own thing I had this fear of communicating right because I was very different I did things differently than everybody else and nobody could understand me. And I was like, what the fuck? Why am I even doing this? It even happened in my career as a systems engineer. And even with this, guys, sometimes I'm like, you know, do I go backwards? Do I go back home? Do I stop doing this? Because it seems like so many people don't get what I have to say. But this is also a message for me because I cannot rest on my laurels. It's been a long time coming for me. I put in a lot of fucking hard work to get to where I'm at. See, and I'm actually, do, I'm actually doing myself a favor by channeling this for you guys because this is for me. <clears throat> I have to keep going. I have to keep going because what I'm being told is that something is about to shift. Something is about to change. People are now going to start to get it. People are going to have more of a curiosity like Gemini energy to better understand what the hell I'm doing. Because I know for a fact I'm very different compared to a lot of other readers. Not that I want to compare myself because I don't want to do that. But I know a lot of people have come to me saying, you're very different. And sometimes people don't get it. And on top of that, people don't like the truth. And that's okay. That's something that I had to come to terms with. Not everybody's going to get me. Not everybody's going to get it. I'm very different. And that's fine. It's the same thing for you guys. You are different. You're also very gifted, Gemini. Don't stop here. Keep going. You know what it is you need to do. Don't let the past hold you back. Don't be afraid of what lies ahead. Don't give in to that fear. Don't give in to that uncertainty of like, am I in the right direction? Am I on the right path? Is this my truth? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this my mission work, my purpose? <clears throat> You've got the chariot, Gemini. You're on the right path. You're on the right track. It may not seem like it to you. And that's where your Gemini mind comes into it. I don't know. When are my ships coming in? When am I going to get my abundance? When are things going to change? When is my business going to expand? It's kind of like expansion of knowledge also. It's also about when is my stuff going to go out to more of the masses? When, when, when am I going to be able to see a change here? You're one wand away from the Four of Wands, Gemini, which is hitting a major milestone, major accomplishment. <clears throat> Don't stop now because your hard work is paying off. It's all in divine timing. God's waiting for one more ship. That's what I'm hearing. <clears throat> I'm seeing a vision. Somebody's at the dock. They're seeing all these ships starting to come in. They're like, when are they going to dock? They're, they're, when are they going to dock? When are they going to be in my face? But God's saying, Gemini, I have one more that's coming. And I cannot have those ships dock until that last ship comes in. This is very interesting because I'm hearing for some of you, that last ship, your person is on it. Your counterpart is on it. Your Pisces, your Cancer is on it. That's what I just heard. This is very interesting. It's a very interesting vision. And your person standing on that other ship, the last one, that's kind of like the icing, I mean, the cherry on top of the cake is what I'm hearing. You're almost there. 
you're going to be celebrating very soon. Your patience is going to be greatly rewarded. So don't stop here. And don't be afraid to expand your horizons. Don't be afraid to go out there and be your true Gemini self. And don't be afraid to communicate that truth either. <clears throat> you are undergoing some serious transformation, Gemini. Because there's a big leveling up that is happening right now. Some of you are now ready for the next phase of your journey with regards to whatever it is that you're doing. Don't stop making forward progress. You've put a lot of hard work and effort into this. It's been a long time coming. You've been patient. You understand that things come in divine timing and that's exactly what's happening here. <clears throat> I'm hearing you're about to push through that miniature hole in that cocoon. To fly out of it. You're going to be spreading your wings. You're going to have full functionality of your wings here, Gemini. Cross-pollinating. Look at the wings. They're not butterflies, they're bees, but there's wings here. <coughs> there are wings here. There's something shifting for some of you. <coughs> Death and rebirth. You are not the same person. There's something about your person is not the same person because you have changed drastically. You have undergone profound change. <clears throat> There's also somebody here who's afraid of the past repeating itself. That's not happening. You put in too much hard work to change. You put in too much work to transform, to let go of the past and, and move away from your environment and kill the old you off. What's happening in your future, what lies ahead, Gemini, it's not going to be the same as what happened in your past. It's not. <clears throat> you can't also be afraid of change either. You can't be afraid of leveling up into being your true Gemini self. Look. I channeled this too. Look who's here. Look what's here. It's the lover's card. It's you. You are all over this reading, Gemini. This is really huge. There's trust issues here. Some of you have trust issues with certain people. Again, we talked about the gossip. We talked about other stuff. Maybe, and I'm going to call it out. Maybe some of you have trust issues with me. To see if I, you're wondering if what I'm channeling is the truth. What I'm conveying to you, if I'm being honest. Well, I can tell you right now, first of all, go to your guides about it. How do you feel when you receive the messages that I give in my readings? As for some of you, not for all of you. <clears throat> Do you feel at peace? Do you feel light? Do you feel happy? Does it bring a sense of calmness to your heart space? If not, if it makes you feel low, if it makes you feel dark, if you don't get goosebumps from it, things like that, then that's not the truth. Because again, I do things very differently. But I'm always about the truth. So some of you may very well have issues, trust issues with me. 
and that's okay. I'm not going to judge you for that. That's not my place. <coughs> right? It's not my place. Some of you are very disconnected from your higher self. This is being misaligned. All right? <coughs> with God, with your guides, with your angels. Misaligned with the truth. There's disharmony here. This could even be about your union. <clears throat> I talked about it. These are the twins. The twin, the twin bees. They're right there. Your union is about to manifest. What's happening is here, for some of you Geminis, you have been manifesting something massive. It's not just manifesting divine union with your counterpart. God's bringing in things that you didn't even ask for. What you're about to manifest is beyond anything you could ever imagine. And that comes with your union for those of you who've done your work. <clears throat> for those of you who have achieved union with self, for those of you who have completed your emotional healing, childhood wounds, ancestral patterns. You have a very strong connection and relationship with God. You're in full alignment. There's this openness about you because you're not afraid to speak your truth. <coughs> You've balanced your, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> masculine and feminine energies. <coughs> Your hard work is going to pay off, Gemini. And again, for those of you with the trust issues, some of you, if you know you're going to come into union with your person, you're wondering if you should move forward with this person because of what happened in the past. That there were trust issues in the past. They had trust issues with you. You had trust issues with them. If you have completely changed, Gemini, then that means your person has done the same. You guys are mirrors. You guys are one. And your intuition has been telling you that. But some of you are still doubting it because you're going back to the past thinking, this person's going to screw me over. They're going to cut me with that scythe here. They're going to be this king of swords again, the shadow king of swords. Being cold and detached and not, you know, being very hurtful. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you are like about to do it about face. You're going to put in all this work, Gemini, to, to throw it all away because you still have trust issues. You're still stuck in the past. Let it go. Let go and let God. If you have, are not the same person you were before, your person has also changed. <clears throat> That's why it's so important for the feminines to be the lead here because when they heal, the masculine heals. When they transform into the higher versions of themselves, so does their person. When they achieve union with self, so does their person. You may be thinking that you still have misaligned values. <clears throat> what does your intuition tell you, Gemini? If you still have fears about what this person is going to do, say to you, you're not ready. You cannot have any fears at all. If you're fully in alignment with your higher self, there should be no fear there. These two are naked. This is vulnerability. Being your true, authentic self. Maybe there's a self-image that's still here for you because you're like, oh my God, if I come into union, because this is also sexual union, this is a sex card too, you're going to be thinking, oh my God, I gained weight, I don't know. It, this person hasn't seen me in a while or, or I've lost weight or I don't know. I've got stretch marks now or something happened with my, my body, something like that. There's some self-conscious issue here. 
<clears throat> I don't want to show myself. I don't want to be naked in front of you. This could be literal or figuratively speaking, okay? You cannot be afraid to be naked in front of them either or be afraid of being who you are in front of your counterpart. You guys are one. You're looking at yourself, but the male or female version of it. This could also be you may mistrust your own self, your own abilities, your physical being. <clears throat> You can't be afraid to be who you are in front of your person. Flaws and all, Gemini. I talked about that in my weekly. So it looks like somebody is moving towards you. Could be very well with the uh, effect of this full moon, total lunar eclipse in Taurus. Someone's had a huge change of heart. They've changed their mind. They've completely had a massive revelation about you, about the connection. They're saying to themselves, I don't want to be stuck in the past anymore. I got to let it go. I got to kill it off. I have to believe that I'm not who I used to be, that I have changed. So I am ready for this union. So I am ready for this deep soul connection. They're also getting over the hang-up of having trust issues because of a previous relationship where they, they got cheated on or there was some sort of misalignment <coughs> or some issue in a previous partnership. Somebody here is letting that go because they've worked too hard on themselves to, to, to overcome these fears about being in another marriage, another relationship or something because of what happened in the past. <coughs> So somebody's moving towards you. There's something massive about travel here. Air travel, because we saw the Eight of Wands. Um, traveling over water. Maybe taking a plane, buying a plane ticket to see you. Something like that. Driving to see you because a chariot is a car. Somebody's rising from the ashes here. They're a completely different person. And they're like, I've come too far to turn back now. I need to head towards Gemini. I need to communicate. I need to see them. I need to talk to them, whatever this is. Because they know once they do, once they speak their truth, that's when union starts. I was talking about that. Once this communication gets going and all the misinformation, the miscommunication, the misunderstandings are cleared up, this is what will happen. And both of you want this union. You want this marriage. You want this connection. Because you see it for what it is. This is a mission-oriented connection. It's divinely guided. That's for those of you who are fully in union with yourselves. You're now ready for the divine union with your counterpart. <coughs> and you're not going to be afraid to be who you really are in, this person, in front of this person anymore. If you're still afraid of that, you still need a little bit of work to do. Have a little bit of work to do. But this person knows <coughs> communication is key. Speaking their truth is key for both of you. But it looks like a masculine here is the one who needs to communicate with the feminine to clear some things up. There's also somebody here has <coughs> understood clearly what this connection is all about. Okay. Holy Spirit, our King of Galactic Family Series, please, please reveal to us for our highest good. Can you please clarify the um, the moon and the chariot? cards for the focus position, please. Thank you. <coughs> <clears throat> Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, your clarity. You guys cannot, you guys, you, you cannot make it up. Look at all the air. Look, ace of swords and ten of swords. What I talk about communication. <coughs> <clears throat> 
Something is attacking my throat chakra. Two of Wands. Archangel Michael, clear, please. <clears throat> This person's going to move forward communication. They're going to speak the truth and nothing but. There's a letter coming in. There's email coming in. Text message coming in. But I'm getting more of an email or a letter or something like that. <clears throat> Somebody's had an epiphany about this connection. Insight and awareness. The truth about this connection. <clears throat> Having an epiphany during a dream. Oh, God. I need to do this. I need to take action now. I need to communicate. I know what to say now. I figured out what to say to you. It's a breakthrough. This person's had a breakthrough in understanding what it is they need to say to you. Now, if you're the person who's having this need to say something to somebody, you've went through this. You had a dream. There was something intuitive hit that you got. You had a massive epiphany. You're like, oh, I get it now. Massive breakthrough. Breaking through the veil. Like, I'm not going to be afraid anymore. I'm going to speak my truth. I know what to say. I know how I'm going to communicate how I feel. I know I'm going to communicate X, Y, Z. Okay, doesn't have to be your person. This could be about your mission work. <coughs> but this is always about speaking your truth here, Gemini. The worst is over now. You've been through the ringer. You understand that through pain and suffering comes great wisdom, intelligence, clarity. You see why you had to go through this. It was to propel you forward. It's to give you more power. Again, with Pluto here, power card here. <clears throat> to not be afraid of your truth. When I talked about some of you, I don't know if I should be doing this, you know, social media platform, this this publication, this 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 report, whatever it is. Because... I'm like, I'm not getting anywhere. I keep speaking my truth, but it feels like I'm being betrayed or I'm being backstabbed or nobody's supporting me, right? It's going to change. It's going to drastically change. I talked about that and the death card came out. But somebody, it is supposed to be about somebody getting over a divorce, Okay. A marriage, a divorce here. <clears throat> this divorce had a huge purpose for you or this person or for both of you. King of Swords is a divorced person too. There may have been some reconciliation or some something positive that happened to somebody with a court case, something about the divorce or custody or something like that. I'm getting strong divorce here. Justice is there. It was at the top of the deck for the focus cards. Communicating your truth. Having an epiphany. Blasting you out of the ten of swords. <coughs> Somebody may have felt like they were a failure because they had a hard time communicating how they felt. And every time they did, they would mess it up. They would say something derogatory, something belittling, something hurtful. And they felt a lot of pain from it. No more. This person has now had an epiphany at how to best communicate what they need to communicate. Or it could be you. Being at a crossroads. I need to make a decision. I'm either going to speak my truth or I'm not. I'm going to stay here and worry about what lies ahead, what lies ahead of me. We already have the three of wands here. Your ships are going to come in when you speak your truth. You, you stay true to your word. Okay? <clears throat> and again, coming from a place of love. Somebody was weighing options here. <clears throat> this is also about the beginning of a new partnership forming, business or otherwise. This person was a little bit hesitant in doing that, moving forward with this, stepping out of their comfort zone. Because again, you, some of you, stepping out of your comfort zone with being your true Gemini self. The others of you, your person, stepping out of their comfort zone with speaking their truth to you. Yep, some of you are dealing with water sign. Look, see? Revealing their feelings for some of them. 
others of you following your heart, trusting your guidance and just having compassion and forgiveness and love for other people, no matter what they say to you. You come from a place of love, right? But there's also somebody being hesitant <coughs> to communicate their feelings because they have very deep feelings for you. And they were like, I don't know what to do. Do I take the path as travel? Do I go actually go through with this and communicate how I feel? And the answer is yes. Can you please clarify the death card in the three of wands, Holy Spirit. Archangels, galactic families, pleading, Syrians, please and thank you. Four of cups. See, thinking that they've missed out on opportunity. I missed my chance over and over and over again. This is the chance to do it. Pisces, crap, Gemini. See what I mean? That wasn't a coincidence. There's a Pisces watching this. There's some Pisceans who are cross-watching for Gemini. <coughs> and yes, cross-watchers are welcome. Seizing the day. Don't miss out on another opportunity to speak your truth. To move forward with this union, whatever this is for you. Some of you, again, you've been disappointed. You've they're like disgruntled employee, I'm hearing. You have been disheartened by the fact that you continue to, to channel what you channel. You continue to speak your truth. You continue to put your stuff out there. Nobody's getting you. Nobody's understanding you. People are, are, are leaving you, right? <clears throat> There's something about a loss of followers, a loss of subscription, something like that. Don't get triggered by that, Gemini, if this is you. They are just not there to fully support you because some of them, they just don't get it. And that's okay. Some of us want to save everybody, but we just can't. Stay focused on your mission. Stay focused at the task at hand. <clears throat> don't go backwards. God is giving you an unexpected blessing here with this Four of Cups. And for those of you who are cross-watching, who need to communicate with the Gemini, this is your opportunity to do it. You have not missed out on this yet, but God is telling you now is the perfect time to do this, to ace the swords it, to send that letter, to speak your truth, to just, or ask for clarification or whatever this is. Reveal your true feelings because that's moon card <clears throat> coming out of hiding. It's time to get re-engaged. It's time to be proactive and go fight for what it is you want to fight for. For go to, to, to stay true to yourself and to continue to pursue whatever dreams, whatever aspirations and goals that you have. You've come too far, Gemini, to turn back now. I believe, I believe, I believe I'm falling in love. <laughs> it's too late. Can't turn back now, Gemini. Get enthusiastic. Be grateful for the gifts God gave you. Be grateful that you have another chance at this. Seize the day. Don't get so caught up in the disappointments about whatever this is. Because at the end of the day, it's a blessing. Especially for some of you who are not getting your word out there, who are losing followers, who are losing subscriptions, or something like that. <clears throat> your videos are being taken down. I don't know. Your accounts are being locked. God's got something better for you. He does. Hermit. Do not be overcome. Don't be paralyzed with fear, Gemini, to do whatever this is, to speak your truth, to communicate with someone. Some of you, this is about coming out of hiding or your person's coming out of hiding. Someone's been in hermit mode for a long time, working on themselves, healing. It's taken a long time with the three of wands. This could very well be that either you or your person, they've been waiting for a while, maybe waiting for the right opportunity waiting for the right time. I'm hearing climate, 
<laughs> to move, to take action, to, to, to seize the day. You can't isolate yourself anymore, Gemini. You can't stay hidden. Look how dark this card is. You can barely see the silhouette of the hermit here. <coughs> it's time for you to emerge as your true Gemini self. Or it's time for your person to emerge as their true selves. You've learned a lot. You've grown a lot. Some of you have achieved spiritual mastery. This is about spirit and service, guys. But for the others of you, it's your person or you, Gemini, that's got to come out of hiding. Some of you are used to being introverts. It's time to step out of your comfort zone and get out there. Be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to be who you are. You've been kept in the dark for too long. Now God is bringing you out. <clears throat> there are others of you. When I talk about you've been communicating your truth, you've been speaking all this stuff and people are getting angry at you or whatever it is. <clears throat> You're getting disappointed. You're debating on whether you should quit. You should go back to zero square one. Or you should just disappear for a while. Did God tell you that? Because for some of you, I'm getting God didn't tell you that. This could be ego-based. Because of all the disappointment and discouragement here. But it looks like God is telling you to not go into hiding. Because you have a purpose here. You've got to keep going with that three of wands. I also just heard there's somebody who's been an introvert for a long time. You may have been single for a while. <clears throat> Your person has. You're living a boring life and you know it. There's more to life than being an introvert. There's more to life than being afraid of going out there and, and exploring the world, expanding your horizons. Do something adventurous, Gemini. You guys are about that. You're a fun sign. This could be your person. Okay? Could be the Pisces. They've been trying to protect themselves from the outside world for too long. You can't do that. There's no growth here. There's no expansion. You won't see what else the world has to offer. And especially with coming into union with your person, you have no idea the type of life both of you are going to live. So somebody here has been very bored, very isolated, maybe playing video games all day, <coughs> smoking, vaping, I don't know, playing music by themselves. They're just like, because they're afraid of, of being out there. Or maybe they've been working so hard on themselves that they're afraid when they go out there that they're going to go back to who they were. That they're going to go back to the past. That's why I channeled. Somebody's afraid of the past repeating when they come out of hiding because of all the work that they have done. When you live a life of solitude, guys, you, God does his greatest work on you and you do your greatest healing in solitude because God is protecting you from all the dark outside. Okay? So there's somebody here who's afraid to come out of hiding because of all the hard work they put in. I don't know, is this gonna work out? Is this union actually gonna, are we gonna be really committed to each other? Can I be my true self in front of this person because I couldn't be in front of them or other people before? Is this really going to work out? I don't know why I just heard this. Somebody might even be thinking, are we gonna have the best sex ever? Like I'm feeling, that's what I'm getting with this. I'm no joke guys, I'm not gonna lie. This could even be, but somebody is afraid of, of the, the sexual union not being what they're thinking it's gonna be or or there's gonna be a problem or or they're gonna be in uh, this relationship with you thinking that you're gonna hide your body, that you're not gonna be wanting to have sex in the, the, the outside or in the, the daylight or in, 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 in light, something like that, right? Something about sex here. Um, somebody may be afraid of that, okay? You can't be afraid of anything. Because if somebody can't love you for who you are, they don't love you unconditionally. There could be conditions there. <clears throat> okay? There's like this fear. 
I've changed, I've transformed, but has that person too? Are we gonna go back to square one? Is the past gonna repeat itself? Am I gonna have trust issues again? If you have overcome that, Gemini, you know in your heart of hearts that history is not going to pre repeat yourself. Your intuition is going to recognize this person. This is soul recognition here. If you know this is your divine counterpart, all that other bullshit in the past is not going to repeat itself because it's not divine. It's from your distorted selves. Okay? Oh my God. I tell you. All right. I need a cigarette after this. I'm just kidding. I don't smoke. Nor do I judge people who do that either. It's funny because I did have an issue with that, but after I met my counterpart, I was like, oh, that's the least of my problems. <laughs> that's the least of my problems. <clears throat> I saw marriage. What guidance do we have for Gemini, Holy Spirit? Archangels, Galactic Families, Praying Syrians, Prison, thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. See? <clears throat> this is emotional healing, guys. Some of you still need to overcome your trust issues with your person or other people. You need to work on your emotional healing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. You got to clear that heart chakra. <clears throat> Dietary change. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. <clears throat> this card signifies that you're healing some old emotional pain. The first thing that comes to mind is exactly the issue you're resolving. As you let go of anger, guilt, or other emotional wounds, you awaken a new level of power within yourself that attracts everything you desire and more call upon the fairies as well as supportive people or professionals to help you through this time of healing know that you're lovable and that you deserve a happy heart the additional meanings are the situation you're asking about has an emotional basis physical healing occurs as a result of emotional healing you're preparing for a new love by healing old hurt from a previous partnership i kind of channeled that consult with a professional counselor or join a support group journal about your feelings the situation is bringing about tremendous personal growth so do I, what stood out to me, one of the things that stood out to me was journaling about your feelings, okay? So some of you with regards to communication, all right? You don't always have to communicate with words or something, right? You could communicate via your artwork, painting, drawing, building something. <clears throat> some of you need to put your emotions out into journal form, okay? If you have an issue with communicating with someone verbally or in their face, Start by writing out what you're going to say and then maybe work towards saying it verbally or write journal what you want to say or journal your feelings, right? Um, and, and allow yourself to reread it and better understand what you just wrote. This could very well be to helping you to overcome this fear of communicating your truth with someone. Um, this helps you to release pent up em uh, emotions too. This could also very well lead to uh, writing down what you want to say to somebody so that you could actually write the email or the text message and send it to them after getting over this fear of communicating what it is you want to communicate. I tell you guys, almost every day or every week, there's somebody doing landscaping, doing mowing the lawn. You drew this card because of your quest for help with your life's purpose and awakening your spiritual gift of clairvoyance. The fairies say that your body's metabolism is extremely sensitive. They've been guiding you to switch to a healthier diet, but you may not have heard or trusted this message. So the fairies now bring you this card to validate that you're hearing them correctly. As you improve your diet, so do you heal other areas of your life. Additional meanings are consult with a nutritionist, go on a detox cleanse, stop drinking alcohol or using other drugs, Reduce or eliminate chemicals and processed foods from your diet. Eat a more vegetarian diet. Quit smoking. Stay away from household or industrial chemicals. Somebody here is a smoker. Look, I can't judge you. I know this is what this says. 
But if you've been guided to quit, then listen to your guidance, okay? Somebody here has a kid. Again, I can't, I'm not judging you. I already talked about this. That's kind of funny. I said, I want a cigarette. And then I said, somebody here smokes. And I talked about vaping and playing video games and smoking and just being a hermit, introverted all the time. You need to go out and explore the wor world here. Um, it wasn't a joke that I said the smoking thing. And I did say about my counterpart, I didn't judge him because before I didn't like it. I didn't. But he had way more to him than the whole smoking thing. And he was nice enough to not smoke in front of me because I actually told him, I don't care what you do, but I would prefer that you don't smoke in my face or smoke when I'm around. And he actually was respectful of that. And I really, really appreciate that. But again, I didn't judge him because of it. Nor did it keep me from dating him those few times that I did or we went out, however you want to look at it. Um, but again, it did say quit smoking. So if you're a smoker and you know that you, you need to quit and your, your, your health, there's something about your health issues or you're being guided to do it, then go ahead and do it. Okay. But again, this is your choice. There's also something about stopping drinking, stop drinking alcohol. Somebody had issues with trying to find other ways of dealing with their feelings or dealing with their truth or something like that. Maybe somebody needs to communicate that they have a drinking problem or a drug problem or a smoking problem. Substance abuse. <clears throat> or they have some sort of eating disorder, whatever this is. Don't be afraid of that, okay? If you need help from somebody who can help you overcome these things, ask for the help. Don't feel shameful about that, okay? That could also mean that somebody did change those things. They stopped drinking, they stopped smoking, because there's a death here. There's a huge, profound change. It's over, it's done. The, the smoking, the drinking, the substance abuse, the self-sabotage, the poor eating, the whatever, the lack of eating, it's done. That could be for others of you where that has been completed. That has been overcome. So now that we're talking about that, let's get your wellness message. What wellness message do we have for Gemini, Holy Spirit, oh God, Archangels, Galactic Families, Pleiadian Syrians, please and thank you. <coughs> Somebody may be asking if I ever tried a cigarette. Um, I did when my, I asked my counterpart, he was smoking one, I let him do it <coughs> that night and I was curious and I said, we talked about curiosity earlier, earlier, right? I said, can I try that? And he looked at me, like, wait, what? Something like that. You want to try? I said, yeah. I think he wasn't too happy that I asked. So I tried it out. I started coughing like a madman. It was worse than what I'm doing now. It was so funny. And I thought it was hilarious. But apparently he didn't think it was funny <laughs> because I was coughing. And I tried it again. I'm like, this is so weird. Like to feel that go through your chest. It was very weird. But I'm glad I tried it because, again, curiosity killed the Jess. But anyway, uh, not necessarily, but um, I thought it was interesting. And I was very, uh, I had a best friend who, who would smoke, but she used to hide it from people. And um, I was always wondering what that was like. But whoever's asking me that, yeah, I did try it once, but I'm like, it's not for me. I couldn't. I couldn't do it, but again, I don't judge people who do. So your, um, your wellness tip here, guys, is intentions. Today is a fresh day, fresh start. No matter how my day was yesterday, I can make of today whatever I want. My intention for the day is <coughs> write an intention, guys. Put it on your mirror in your bathroom, in your room, in your car, by the microwave, by your coffee machine, by your curing machine, whatever. So you see it every day and repeat that intention to yourself because every day is a new day, guys. <coughs> Bottom of the deck, casting spells. The words I speak and the stories I tell are like spells. What I say and believe, I attract more of. So I shift my story from lack to abundance, from victim to empowered, and from complaint to gratitude. Now when I speak to others through my words, I am casting beautiful spells holy shit what were we talking about 
when I talk about the gratitude, be grateful for stuff, for people, for experiences. Don't focus so much on being disappointed and being a disgruntled employee and being disheartened. You got to get back up there and let that all fall away. Watch what you say. I know I caught myself saying some lower vibrational things and I had to clear cancel and release that. <clears throat> I actually made a note to myself. Use only positive words in your discussions about finances and other sources of support and supply. You probably can't see that, but I wanted to share. Watch your words. What you say and believe you attract more of. I was going to say Pisces again, uh, Gemini. <clears throat> the magic spells, not the dark spells. Watch your words. Watch your words. What am I doing now? The full moon, total eclipse in Taurus. If you speak, Negative things, guys, guess what? Other people are going to say that stuff right back to you, and that's not going to help you out. What is this full moon, total eclipse, and Taurus bringing Gemini? Whoop! Well, here we go. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. See? You got to change some things. <coughs> that casting spells all the talks about be, being, speaking your truth, right? Bottom of the deck, be bold and make the first move. The cardinal moon, the chariot, take action, go the distance. I think I can, I think I can. I can get to the top of that hill. I'm going to be able to do this. I can do this. You're going to stay, you're on the right path. You're going to stay on the right path when you're following the path of truth. Now is the time to be bold, bossy even, and take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great, and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. This card may challenge you on how strongly you really want something. <coughs> <clears throat> if you're worrying about a situation, it is a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. Steer events where you want them to go. The chariot card. Speak up for what you want. Gemini, if you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way to step up as a leader. Somebody here wants to clear the air with you. They want to sort things out. If you're being the one called to do the sorting out, to take the lead, you've got all the support in the world to help you do this. Chariot, death card, justice I pulled out, and the moon card, all that stuff. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, right? <clears throat> I am taking charge of my destiny. Taking charge with the chariot. Taking action. Making forward progress. Be bold to follow your heart and your emotions. Avoid recklessness or moving too fast. Come into your power. The time for action is now. I said you guys are powerful people. Utilize it to your advantage, but don't misuse your power. That's magician in the reverse. All right. This is a sign that something new is starting and you quite possibly need to take the lead on it. Either your person's taking the lead, I'm bringing this union together, and again, Gemini communication, or it's you. <clears throat> Third quarter. Think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there is also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether there are toxic emotions involved which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you will get to where you want to be. A change of course is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may also be a crisis now, which will remind you that what you want, which will remind you what you want and what it's time to let go of. So pay attention. <clears throat> I am reevaluating this, this situation. 
Your life may be out of balance and this may be causing your issues. It may be time to hatch a whole new plan. Something new and exciting is around the corner. Trust may be required to move the situation forwards. What did I say about some of you still having trust issues? How are you going to have a divine union with anyone when you have trust issues? Makes no sense. Makes no sense. We know where we have been, but where are we going? Three wands. It's a time of falling away and a time to reevaluate. No matter when you draw this card, the teaching is to release and to trust. Trust in God. Trust the universe. If you've made changes, so is your person. If everything in your life is different than what it used to be before, you let go of the past, blah, 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 blah. Then these issues in relationships are not going to manifest again. But you have to believe in that. <coughs> you need to trust in that. <clears throat> Look, the full moon in Taurus is at the top. Your dreams are a practical plan. <clears throat> okay, Jemmies. Let's see what's coming to you in love. Dad damn it. What is coming to Gemini? In love, Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Holy Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Whoa, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and a restraint, holding back. I talked about with that dietary change, okay? <clears throat> Some of you, your person still dealing with addictions to drugs, to alcohol, to sex, to porn, to smoking, vaping, I don't know, video gaming, whatever this is, all right? They're codependent on those things. They're obsessed with something. They're feeling down and out because what's happening is they can't process their emotions. So what did they do? They look to these other not so great things, healthy things to deal with that. <clears throat> okay. Somebody's disappointed. They're bored. They're not seizing the day. It's a lackluster life. It's, it's very Debbie Downer. They don't think they can do anything about it. They're stuck in the past. They still have trust issues because they got burned in a relationship. Some of you are still dealing with somebody who's dealing with this. You have to let them handle this on their own. There are a few of you where your person has overcome this. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. <coughs> See, maybe it might be you, Gemini. Adjustments are required to let go of these addictions, these blocks, these restraints. Bottom of the deck is seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. This person just, they just like to date people. They don't want to commit. Because they can't trust. It could be you. You cannot have a deep soul connection when you have trust issues. Some of you need to work on that. And your person needs to work on that too if they're still having that issue. Okay? This person gets caught up in with like really good looking women or good looking men. There's there's an there's unhealthy seduction here, right? They like to hook up. They just have some fun. No serious commitment, okay? Third party. Some of them are getting caught up in other people who are not right for them because that, that's because they're having an issue with dealing with their emotions and their truth. Some of them, they don't want to face this truth that they have an addiction to sex, drugs, all that stuff, right? Just wanting to hook up with people, all right? <clears throat> they don't want to get emotionally involved. 
Hence all this air here. Maybe that's what this person's going to communicate to you. There could be a cold hard truth here, Gemini, with someone being honest with you and saying, I had a block. I couldn't commit. I was addicted to sex, drugs, porn, everything. I could I, I was emotionally numb. I didn't want to I don't want to get involved in a serious connection. I was afraid of this deep soul connection and I, I just wanted to hook up with you. I just wanted to have fun, flirt, dating. Okay? That could be what somebody's telling you. What they're going to speak to you about. And if you are not prepared to hear that and you get triggered and you get all crazy, you're not ready for a divine union. Because again, you have to be able to handle the truth. So look what's after this. The Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. What did I say about the transformation to change mind? This person's like, I don't want it. Some of you, your person is still doing this. And they're going to have to make adjustments. You guys are also probably still codependent on this person who is having these issues. You got to let go of that. <coughs> Misaligned. You guys, some of you are not aligned yet. The other smaller group of you, this person has completely transformed. No more of this stuff. They've killed it off. Okay? They changed their mind about being in serious relationships. They also changed their mind about you. Because they know they're not going to have this love anywhere else. Top of the deck is coffee cup. Meeting and conversing. Serving the moment. Feeling uplifted in friendship. Some of you, they only want to be friends with you, okay? Because of these, these issues. That's okay. You cannot get it. You do not want to be in a relationship with somebody who's dealing with this, Gemini. You got to do you. But the others of you, they want to talk to you about this. They may invite you out for a cup of coffee, some tea, go out for drinks. I, this person's like, I need to talk about this. I've completely changed I've completely awakened now. I want to rekindle this relationship because some of them know that it is a divine union. It's your counterpart. It's the twins. It's a twin flamey stuff. Okay. Oh, Lord. Ah, okay. I don't know why I put that down there. All right. <clears throat> What does Gemini's person want to say to them? Oh my God, Holy Spirit. Archangels, Galactic families, Pleiadian Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, your clarity. It's getting dark already. <clears throat> what does Gemini's person want to say to them? Oh, balls, you are a unicorn. I still can't believe your mind sometimes. Union is here. Be prepared. That's for some of you, not for all of you. You know who you are. If you don't have trust issues with anyone at all to include your counterpart, you are ready for union. You've done your emotional healing. You've gotten to union with self. Those of you who are ready, you know who you are. That's for you. <coughs> See, your person thinks you're out of this world. They cannot believe how rare you are, like who you are as a person. They can't believe that you are their counterpart. Bottom of the deck, I'm going to show up at your door unannounced. Get ready. That's the chariot energy. I'm working on my healing. Please be patient with me. See? Have faith in me and in us, for I have faith in you. I'm trying to ensure our new life together will be harmonious. Give me time, please. They also want me to pull... <coughs> Excuse me. They want me to pull a shadow card. I have shadow cards here. What is going on with Gemini's person right now? 
Holy Spirit, our angels, galactic families, plain and serious, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What is this addiction about? Can you tell us more about this addiction, Holy Spirit? If it is in your will, please and thank you. Oh, oh God. Yes, I did lie to you about many things. I really didn't mean to. I didn't know what else to do at the time. It's probably why some of you may still have trust issues because you knew they were lying to you. But think about why you got triggered by that. It stems from your past. People do change, but people will change when you change. People change through love, through healing, okay? <clears throat> that could also be why they were restraining themselves from communicating the truth because, again, they're going to tell you some cold, hard things. They're going to admit that they, they, they lie to you about stuff. <clears throat> but they didn't mean to do it. They got caught up in stuff. They didn't know what else to do. We all get caught up in stuff and sometimes we don't think before we speak and then the lie comes out. We're smart enough to do that. Some people believe us, other people don't. You guys know what I'm talking about. You are falling for my tricks. Stop taking the bait. See? <clears throat> this this person seducing you but not using utilizing it in a divine way okay they're seducing you and they're trying to get you to fall into their trap I might have said something about falling into the trap I don't know Your intuition keeps telling you not to fall for this anymore, Gemini. You got to listen to that. And don't be ashamed of that, okay? We all go through it. All right, guys. That was a super long reading, but it needed to be said. Okay? <coughs> it needed to be said. If you have any questions about this reading, if you want a personal reading with me, if you want to sign up for an awesome Capella membership, you want to join me in my 11-11 portal on Friday, you can get access to that live on Friday. It's an empowering session for all of us to boost our manifestation skills, to boost our own power. We talked about power in this reading today. Sign up for a membership. You can get a 14-day free trial and still be part of that uh, portal session, my empowerment session. Um, or if you don't want to sign up for a membership, you can purchase a ticket, a seat to sit in on that session for that day. It's on Friday, November 11th, 2022, okay? Um, if you want to know about the memberships, you've probably heard me say this before. You get daily guidance videos. You get to chat with me in the Mo free mobile app. You get all of the exclusive content in the mobile app. Um, you get to chat with amazing other people, make friends with them there. You get to um, get announcements from me, things that I just push out there that I'm guided to push out, news, announcements, astrology, whatever, um, <coughs> when I'm guided to. Um, you get access to my members only live sessions, readings, all types of those things, okay? Um, a lot of those extra, the extra bonus that I provide in those memberships is to help you with these weekly readings that I do for free for you on YouTube. So if you want to support me, Go ahead and get a membership. Try it out. If you don't like it, fine. You can cancel it. It's easy to cancel. I don't harass you. Don't feel bad if you do. Um, you could also support me by choosing an item from my wish list to help with the other work that I do because I love using different decks and I have all these other different um, things that I want to use for my environment, for my space, for the work that I do. So if you are willing to support me and my work, you can do so by a donation even or picking something from my wish list. Uh, yeah, and again, the memberships, that's also another way of support uh, with this channel so that I continue doing what I'm doing because guys, trust me, it's very challenging when I'm trying to do what I do here <laughs> when I'm really trying to get the word out. But then again, um, I got to keep pushing forward too, right? Anyway, guys, that concludes your reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starring you. Yeah.